All right, let's begin this by going through the Chart Prime website. So that way you know exactly how to get to where you need to go. First of all, the Chart Prime does a really good job of organizing the information to where someone who's brand new at the markets could find what they need to find and also learn about different things with the Chart Prime. Chart Prime has an array of indicators. As you see here, they have order blocks, they have auto pattern detection, liquidity zones. Uh, the list goes on and on. But there's a lot of lot of different uh, aspects to Chart Prime, but they organize in a very simple manner. And Chart Prime is consisted of just three indicators. So that way, if you don't, you know, have a pro subscription with trading, you can use different indicators that Chart Prime has without having to have too many indicators on your chart. The main thing that I like is that you have where you can go and view each aspect of chart prime so there's three main indicators there's the market oracle toolkit there's a the chart prime oscillators and the market dynamics pro those are the three main indicators that house the different functions within chart prime the oracle pro um, basically it's like a, a buy sell uh, where it optimizes based on the data in the market to where it'll look for um, optimal entries or optimal trends within the market for you to trade with so there's different aspects of it but there's trend signals where you see where you see like either strong or buy or sell um, where the candles you know change color to represent the trend just to give it a great visual uh, for someone who's looking at the markets now there's many strategies with chart prime one of strategies is just using the chart prime uh, buy sell um, it has an optimizer with it um, to where you can go through and kind of choose whether you want to do trend where you want to have uh, a fast for your signal speeds whether you want to look at um, how the different uh, charts uh, line up and there's also multi time frame aspects of it um, the candle highlighting obviously is just to make it to where you can visually see the trend and even when the trend may be changing with the purple colors obviously green being uptrend red being downtrend um, the oscillators toolkit we go through here basically it's for your different aspects of the oscillator so you have the trend fusion which basically is a dynamic oscillator which combines multiple oscillators plus trend and price data to give you you know, uptrending confirmations, downtrending confirmations. You can use this alongside your price action to confirm trades if you like. Also, it can, you can look for divergencies within those trends to get a better aspect of the market. Looking here, you know, you have uh, an upward bullish divergence where the price is going down, but the divergence is going up. Um, so, different aspects to use, but the main thing is that you won't be able, you won't be lost with the different aspects because each one of the things of uh, the the features of the software is going to be listed uh, here for you to go and read about. Going into the charts itself, right now I have the Market Oracle Pro. As you can see, uh, it's very smooth in how it is. So you have the the strong, the S uh, buy, S for sell, V for buys. And you also have the check marks, which kind of indicate where you could potentially take a take profit at. Um, I usually like to think of the blue take profit on an uptrend being like the first take profit you could take it at, the red one being a second. But that's just my own interpretation of how I like to use it. Um, definitely go, you know, to the database and it'll show you exactly how Chart Prime uses it. But going into the market Oracle Pro. As you can see, you have where you can auto optimize the markets. And then one aspect I do like to use is the dynamic reactor, which is like a, for me, it's like a, a support and resistance aspect as well as trend confirmations. So one trade that I like to do that's very simple is either where I wait for the trend to change back into um, the green so two greens equal buy two reds equal sales so you see here price turn 
into red and got below the market dynamic um, indicator while the indicator was also red. So that's an aspect, an entry to get into buy. Um, as you see, it's pretty smooth on how it works. Um, you don't get too many false signals. You're obviously, you're going to have a few, as you see here, you got a signal that would have lost, a signal that would have lost. But thinking about it, um, if you have the right risk management, you don't need every signal to win. Matter of fact, you don't even need 60% accuracy to be profitable uh, if you have the right risk management. But this software, just on this aspect alone, gives you a nice, simple um, way to trade. There's different aspects of it where you can use the multi time frame, where you can choose um, you know, different time frames that you want to use and analyze. Also, you have what's called momentum wave bands. And momentum wave bands just gives a good visual. One, kind of like the range in the market, as well as um, you can kind of use it for like a support resistance. So it's dynamic as in, you know, it looks at the price action to kind of give you the higher ranges. Obviously when it gets into the darker shaded areas, that provides more support and resistance. So kind of look at it like a dynamic support and resistance. One thing that you can do is you can wait for a rejection of the, of the shaded area. Um, then you can either wait for a sell signal or you can wait for um, just the price action to kind of go below, below uh, recent low if you're using market structure or a recent high um, if you're looking to buy. But for me, I just like using the price action um, aspects of it and also the trend aspects of it. But there's a lot of different ways you can use it. All right, last but not least is the Market Oracle. The Market Oracle dashboard uh, basically just ranks the markets and also tells you where the optimal tuning is for the sensitivity of the Market Oracle when it comes to the signals. Um, the main thing that I pay attention to is the prime score. Uh, it goes from one to 10, one being uh, the most bearish, 10 being the most bullish. So right now it's at a prime score at eight, meaning that it's pretty bullish. Consolidation score uh, basically just outlines how much the market is consolidating. So uh, the market is consolidating a lot. It'll give you a, a, a lower consolidation score. If the market is trending, it'll give you a higher consolidation score. So as you can see here, market is kind of in a trending mode. So it's giving you a higher score. As we get to the live market, it'll show you that. So you see it's been trending and you get to that higher score. Um, the prophecy just basically um, allows you to see kind of where the algorithm believes where the market is going. So it believes the market is going to pump, meaning that it's gonna go up. And then the other one would be market dumps and then also uh, low volume as well. All right, getting to the next aspect of chart prime indicator software is the Market Dynamics Pro. The Market Dynamics Pro is my favorite one to use because it goes over uh, more of the price action and the smart money concepts, which is the type of trader that I am. Now with the Market Dynamics Pro, there's many levels to it uh, from the order blocks, order blocks being you know, the institutional kind of mitigation levels in the market or the stops before a pump happens in the market. Um, there's, there's an order block training that you can access within my channel that teaches order blocks with the chart prime indicator. Now, with the settings of order blocks, it'll show, you can choose how many you like to show. Uh, with chart prime, I usually like to do about the last seven or eight, so that way I get a good aspect of where the different order blocks are and how I want to trade them. The other aspect of the chart prime is the market structure. Now with market structure, it does do a color candles, but it'll outline the breaks of structure and the change of character in the market. And as, as long as the market structure is going in one direction, 
uh, it'll stay that candle's color. So right now this is a bullish market structure. So it's outlining the candles in, in green. And then on a bearish market structure, it'll outline the candles in purple. You can change that obviously if you want to. Now going into the different aspects, the internal one basically goes over kind of the immediate um, market structure levels. If you do swing, it's going to go over the bigger market structure levels within the market. Now the next aspect is fair value gaps. You may also know them as imbalances, uh, where it'll outline the different imbalances within the market. Um, so you know, as the imbalances come up, you're able to see kind of where those uh, points in the market where the market may return to to balance out the checkbook of the market. Imbalances or fair value gaps may um, you be used to kind of be like a, a magnet in a way. So if there is a big gap in the market, sometimes the market will go in and try to balance out at least 50%. If you zoom in on the fair value gaps, it does have the 50% mark uh, outlined. So that way you can kind of use that in your trading analysis. The main part of the Market Dynamics Pro, which was one of the original parts, was the pattern detection that you see here. So you're seeing this rising triangle um, be formed within the market on a bigger scale. So for people who trade patterns trading, it makes it easier for you to outline uh, different patterns, even if you're not looking for a particular pattern. Uh, what it usually likes to outline is the um, triangles and wedges, but you can have it outline different aspects of things. Um, let me kind of clean things up. The next part would be the volume profile. Volume profile being where um, a lot of activity uh, is where a lot of activity is happening in certain prices. So people like using the volume profile to kind of see where um, activities happen. That so. A lot of people use these data points as almost like price uh, support and resistance or high reaction zones within the market where they're looking for a big reaction off of those particular points. Obviously the market moves when there's orders placed, so if you're able to kind of outline where those orders are being placed, then you can look for points of interest within the market to trade from. So that's the volume profile. The next one is the point of control is money flow so kind of like an equilibrium to me so a point of control uh, basically just outlines you know the equilibrium so on the macro side of the market um, I don't particularly use the point of control as much but I've seen people use it at um, different levels of it and there's different variations of the point of control the next aspect is the liquidity zones liquidity zones being where the market likes to um, mitigate at to where it can get the so-called fuel to make its next move because in order for an institution to make a purchase or a sale there has to be enough value on the other side so if they manipulate the market into those liquidity zones then that's where you know, different potential points can happen the next aspect is the premium and discount so just like um, you're buying something at a store when you see something that's at a discount, you're more inclined to buy from a value perspective. See something being valued higher than what you perceive is worth and you have that item, you may be inclined to sell um, that item. So same aspect with the markets, premium zones being high points or um, more so institutional uh, demand or supply levels where supply may be entering in the market to push the price back down. The discount being a, a demand level where buyers may come in to purchase at those prices. So I love that aspect of the Market Dynamics Pro, being able to outline those different things. Obviously you have your support resistance and then for the chart patterns, you can enable multiple chart patterns for it to look for. and. With that being, you can use, you, know, you got a channel happening right here if you're a channels trader, and obviously that rising wedge happening if you are a patterns trader, being able to identify those aspects of it. So the Market Dynamics Pro is one of my 
um, favorite parts of Chart Prime because it outlines some of the things I look for uh, without indicators, but it's an indicator. So very easy to use. You can also use um, highs and lows on a multiple time frame. So if you are a session trader or a um, price point trader, you know, looking at the market highs and lows of certain time intervals, it's useful to you. So you not having to outline those different uh, points in the market makes it easier for you to place your analysis on the style of trade that you have. And then obviously you can set up the different alerts for the different styles of the Market Dynamics Pro. So the Prime Oscillators Pro is one of the most powerful uh, tools within the Chart Prime Oscillator because it comes with so many different aspects of confluences that you can use on different types of trading signals. So anywhere from having the divergences to the oversold to the reversal lines and even the kind of macro trend, micro trend that you have here with it outlines the different momentum aspects of the market as well. So there's different areas of the market where you can utilize this and be able to find great entries. So kind of going into the settings of the oscillators, you have the prime oscillator, you have the trend fusion oscillator, which will give you a different kind of look uh, with the oscillator itself. Uh, trend fusion is going to be more focused on momentum in the market. Um, and then also you have the MVP oscillator. MVP oscillator uh, also give you a different look at the market looking at more of volume activity in conjunction with the momentum in the market. So each one has a different kind of flavor uh, with the Prime Oscillator, but I like using the main Prime Oscillators Pro. Um, you can have different um, alerts as well, and you can also have, you know, the bands as well. So there's different aspects of the Prime Oscillator, such as the Prime Band, and basically what I use this for is just kind of like a confluence zone. So you have the two areas where if there is a band break, this kind of gives you, if you look here, it kind of gives you an area where it could be a, a reversal before the actual over uh, sold area. Um, so if you're just looking for those uh, pivots in the market, the band breaks work really, really well for that. As you can see, you know, it does correspond with a reversal of momentum, even if it's a small reversal of momentum, it does do a good job of corresponding with that. You will have some instances where it'll leak for a little bit, but if you see this kind of leak happening within the market, best believe that that's gonna be a bigger move once it finally reverses. And you see here, it does have that reversal into this bigger move. It happens again up here, having that reversal into a bigger move there. So even if it does it for a longer period of time, you can still find a way to use it. So. The Prime Oscillators Pro, very, very useful software. Um, if you are going into more stocks and crypto, that's what I use this for. A majority, which is the Prime Screener. The screener, basically, um, you can choose what stocks or even Forex pairs or even crypto that you like to uh, pay attention to. So if it's that way you can look at multiple things at once. Like I said, a lot of people use it for outlining the stocks or crypto that they want to trade or invest in. Um, by coming quickly to the Prime Screener, you're able to identify those aspects of the market where um, you're seeing, okay, what's going on with the market. Now, you may think that all of these different aspects of the market uh, with Chart Prime um, could be a little bit overwhelming, but the best way to understand how to use Chart Prime is to go into their Discord where they have an entire guide, even down to Chart Prime tutorials, all listed out for you in video mode. Uh, one of my favorite features on the premium side is getting access to the, um, the classes. So you do get class, access to class recordings or you can go through uh, their live sessions of the traders, the, the educators of Chart Prime, 
using the software on a live setting. So it gives you extra aspects to it, even while um, there being different you know, crypto signals um, and then different hangouts for different community members that are using the software. Um, any sort of new announcements or updates to the software, you'll be able to see it within the premium zone. Well, they'll update you if you're a paid subscriber to the software and give you updates on just different features or different strategies that you can use within the market. Um, like I said, there's a lot to chart prime. Um, you can't go through every combination of how you use it. That's why I would recommend once you get access to chart prime um, to definitely go over the um, discord to where you can use it and understand the different aspects of chart prime so hopefully this walkthrough helps um, definitely comment below if you're using chart prime and then if you haven't got access to it definitely get access to it with the link in the description